All right, so we're looking at the in-channel experience. Um, this is a, basically a draft version, so um, you won't be seeing this in Community Daily immediately, but um, we are working on getting global threads merged as soon as possible after the weekend here. Um, but this is just a preview of the in-channel experience. So you can see here, um, these are all root posts, um, even though there's a few uh, sequential posts here, but uh, the thing that I want to point out here is, is the thread footer. Um, so root posts going forward with the feature on will have um, these participants that you can hover over, show you the number of replies that there were and when the last reply was. Um, so over in another user, I'm going to send a reply here. And we can see this increments and we get a little unread dot. Um, if we come over here, we can click the replies button and then that will open it up in RHS as we're all familiar with. Uh, the addition over here is that there is a following button. So we, we know that we're following this thread and it will appear in global threads in the inbox view. Uh, but if you do want to unfollow the, the thread here, you can you can do so. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where, where we're at with things on the in-channel experience. Um, this one has a few more replies in it and uh, you can see that there. If there's more participants than can fit here, they overflow and you can hover over them much like reactions do. Um, if you're not following a thread, we'll scroll all the way up here. Um, it'll it'll prompt you to, to follow. So if you open that up and then click follow or something, that uh, should work. Apparently it's not. So like I said, a little rough around the edges, but uh, we're working on a lot of these code cuts and wanted to give you guys a little preview of where we're at with things with the in-channel experience. So anyway, thanks guys. Yeah. All right, so last thing, so when we jump to threads, now we see the global reply threads with uh, real data. I, so last time it was real data as well, but it was thread IDs. Now we have actual threads. Um, it still needs quite a bit of polish, but uh, we're getting there. Um, tapping this will take me to the thread screen. Uh, the header here needs to change and we need to have a following sort of uh, indicator here. Um, and the, the unread little dots and badges have to be hooked up. But yeah, this is this is sort of um, basically what you saw uh, on Monday, but with uh, sort of real thread stuff, not just uh, fake sort of, not fake, but real thread, not thread IDs, but actual data. So if I was to go into, let's say another, uh, okay, I'm on another screen, I say, uh, and I post a message, yes, it is. So then I, I scroll away, unfortunately, because I don't have um, web sockets hooked up. So um, you can see that this one's up here now. It's got one new reply. Again, that needs to be styled. Um, and this is the message that I just posted right now. Um, but yeah, that's sort of about it in terms of demos. Um, Mostly a lot of styling left to do, um, but other this is than much that, easier it's... to imagine though. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I, I got the feeling last time that yeah, yeah, for, for thread ID looking looking at there is is not too nice. Um, but yeah, and and the other stuff is uh, like I said, hooking up web sockets so I don't have to you know sort of switch screens for me to get the the latest updated thread um, and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, this is sort of how the global reply threads on mobile is coming along um, with messages and all of that.